water signs. Thank you for tuning in for this message. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. For those who are new to the channel, I am a psychic medium. There's so much proof out there. You can look into past live videos here or in Facebook. Also look into reviews so you can see the proof, the truth, and accuracy. I do not use any cards or any tools when it comes to personal readings or live readings. All right. Um, and thank you to all new subscribers. Also, thank you all returning subscribers. And thank you all members. I appreciate every single one of you very, very much. Um, if you are new and you are wanting to join the channel, you could definitely do that. If you do not see the join button, you could definitely look into the description of this video. There's a link um, on how to join. And you choose which membership best fits you, whichever one you would like to choose, just choose that. Um, I do offer daily messages as well as extended messages and um, so much more of the perks, um, discounts, things like that. So... Uh, yeah, if you want to join the channel just to get a message every day, um, you can do that. All right. All right. Water signs. Let's jump into your message. I'm going to go ahead and get started with cancer. All right, cancer. Let's see what's going on for you. Spirit, please show us a message for cancer. Cancer. Show us a message for Cancer Spirit at this time. For this week, please show us. Of course, energy is flowing, so this could be past, present, or future Cancer. Show us a message for Cancer. You'd be surprised of how many people, how many clients I have reached out to me a year later about a message that was given to them. And it didn't play out till a year later, so I do read into the future a lot. Um, but also present energy too, present and past, okay? All right, so it looked like this wants to come out in reverse. We're gonna, we gonna check that energy. We're gonna see here, show us more for Cancer. All right, what else, what else? going on here all right cancer heads on on heads on okay so it looks like you want to heal it with someone you want to heal it you want to um make up with someone or or just to smooth or oh, make it more smooth for you between you and this person or this is how this person is wanting th this is what this person is wanting with you some of you um this could be a friend this could be a lover this could be whomever a family member but i'm getting more like friend or a lover um you may have I don't know. Is it you may have people that know this person? It's like I'm getting um uh mutual friends, okay? So it could be mutual friends that is gossiping about this, not in a ne I don't I'm not getting so much of a negative way right now. It's just like talking about it or whatever or talking or you could be talking to this person about this person or or this person is talking to Certain people that you know or whatever. It's 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 a group thing. <laughs> but either you're not in a loop or this person is not in a loop. So either you're talking to the group of people about this particular person or this person is talking to this group of people about you. Um, I don't know. Someone could be very standoffish, kind of defensive. Um, and this is why someone is wanting to heal this. Someone is definitely manifesting this. I feel like someone is also getting to the point of wanting to try to manipulate this. So the manipulation could be, hey, hey, Frank, can you get your friend to reach out to me? Or, hey, Frank, can you, um, I don't know. It, it just seemed like this, like a group effort. That's what I'm getting. Like, hey, if we can all uh, pitch in to make this work. <laughs> I don't know. 
know someone is stressed in here over an ending or um, over how things are turning out with a particular person. That's what this is looking like. So either someone is feeling this way about you, Cancer, or you're feeling this way about this person. Spirit, please show us a message for Cancer in this message. Show us a message for Cancer. Someone could be dealing with the fire sign. Strong fire or Leo in particular or Gemini, uh, Virgo or a, another Cancer. Someone could be dealing with a Sagittarius. It could be any water sign. All right. Any fire sign. Please show us a message for Cancer. Or they may just have these placements, whether they're moon, they're rising, or Venus. Someone is a liar. Okay, so that's that manipulation that I was picking up here. But someone could be, you know, uh, not telling the whole truth. Kind of like, um, like trying to get these group of friends to side with them so they can get what they want out of the situation. Like to befriend this person again. Like, okay, say for instance... You and this person, um, you set your boundaries with this particular person, right? However, whatever happened. And this person know the same friends of yours, know the same group of friends of yours. This person could be talking to, to them or to, to a particular person, um, but it's kind of like manipulating this person to try to like uh, get some information back to you, but not purposely saying, hey, go in, can you go and tell such and such that I said or whatever? It's like, yeah, such and such talking about the situation to this person, knowing that this person know you or knowing that this person knows someone that's going to um, talk to someone that is going to talk to you. Like the, some, some way, like that's that manipulation where this person know that it will eventually get around. Okay, back to the source, back to the person that they really want this message to get to. So whatever this is pertaining to, um, however this is pertaining, like this is different for everyone. This could be like a, um, yeah, they'll be back. <laughs> All right, expect to hear from them soon. All right, some of you, you're going to go on a date with this person or this is something that, that, that um, that's going to lighten up the energy between you and this person, maybe get things back on a core, get things back on the same page, rather, maybe. Um, yeah, so maybe you, maybe it was a falling out between you and this person, you know, maybe you fell out with this person. Mm -mm. Whether it was a major or it was minor, but it's like, hey, I really don't want to let go of this friend. I really, you know, or this lover. Let me try to heal this. Someone is gaining clarity here about someone. Maybe someone is gaining clarity about how someone was trying to admit it. But yeah, friend zone. All right. A lack of passion in this companionship. So, yeah, either you friend zone this person and this person really don't like that um this person may feel like no you're the perfect match you're the person i want or this could be just a friend zone like look um someone is is i'm, I'm getting distant distant or uh standoffish um just setting boundaries here and i feel like the other person is trying to manipulate this so they can get it to go how they want it to go all right cancer I guess I'll get some charms. All right, Cancer. Let's see. All right, Cancer. So... Someone could be dealing with a Libra, strong Libra energy here. We have Libra here twice, but I feel like with this energy, the balance, the scale, it's like someone is wanting to balance things out with someone. Can we fix this? Can we work this out? The other person is just very, very defensive. Yeah, it's like someone is wanting to heal, a, heal their heart, heal their situation with someone. Like I said, balance things out. Someone could be dealing with a Virgo. Um... 
these placements could be sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Don't necessarily have to be someone's sun sign. It could be a Taurus. Someone could be very, um, very stubborn at this time. That's what I'm getting here with this uh, Taurus energy. But yet, um, yeah, yeah, stubborn as heck. <laughs> That's what I'm getting. Um, we have a big butterfly. Someone is definitely growing and, um, this could be why, like, someone, someone may not want to, whatever went down, it's like someone is shutting it out because they want to, they want growth. They don't want to, so if it was like any bickering, arguing, arguing, anything like this, this person don't want to deal with that or this is you you just don't want to deal with that so someone is growing wanting to um spread their wings okay something about a trip possibly about a cruise could be significant for someone and also a, a um guitar someone may like guitars play guitars someone may have a guitar okay or someone is um possibly into music write music um, or have some type of band or want to be a part of a band or this is uh, just a hobby, something that you like or your favorite instrument, okay? Or this person that is um, setting boundaries is very defensive, whether this is you or them, take it however. But that is it, Cancer. Let's move on to the next sign. I hope you receive some type of clarity to your message. So if you are the one that is being very defensive, now you know what's going on with the other person. The other person is definitely trying to, you know, tap into your friend group to get a message to you. Not directly. It's kind of like indirect. But yeah, something like that is going on. But They'll be back. So if you're wondering, or if this person is wondering, cross watcher, if you're wondering, Cancer will be back, or this person will be back. Take it however, okay? Many blessings. Moving on to Scorpio. Hey, Scorpio. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Do know that energy is fluent, so this is the past, present, or future. Hi, my Scorpio. Let's see what's going on for you. Scorpio, 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 Spirit, please show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio, Spirit. Okay. And what else? Scorpio. Okay. And show us more for Scorpio. Mm hmm. Scorpio. Scorpio, it looked like good news could be coming in to you, possibly about your financial matters. Um, if you have been expecting some source of income, especially due, uh, due to the legal system, this will be arriving. Uh, for some of you, you have some type of court documentation that will be coming in to you, some, some form of, um, I feel like government issue, uh, some type of document. So this could be from your job um, as well, but something is being balanced out here due to finances. I feel like whatever was um, being withheld or taken from you is being given back to you. So whether this was, you know, actually taken from you or this could be like someone just working against you, trying to cause you losses. So spirit is working on replacing that, giving this back to you. So expect some type of financial abundance here um, for a majority of you. Now, you know where you belong in this situation. If you have been doing wrong um, and knowingly doing wrong, don't expect the good, okay? That's just how that works. But if you know you have been giving good... Uh, uh, giving, um, giving, and 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 also, um, just living morally. Let's just say that, okay. But 
whoever this is, it look good. You got a, a message coming in, brother. This is it's sometime this week you could be receiving this. You may have just received this. Maybe it, it could be a source of good news. Like, okay, something is going in your favor due to approval. Like I'm getting some type of, some, some form of approval. Uh, this could be due to a financial matter. Or this could be um, pertaining to some type of, okay, thank you. I said, I said financial matter, but this is pertaining to some type of insurance. Okay, so some type of insurance. Or this is, <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. All right, for some of you, you have two different sources coming in to you. So this could be good news from one one thing and then something else coming in. But I feel like this is on two separate occasions, okay? For those who are new, I am a psychic medium, so I do pick up on other messages. So bear with me. Sometimes I, I'm listening to what they're saying, okay? But, yeah. Um, you do have people speaking of you in a positive way. Um, those who are negative, it doesn't matter because it's there. The, the positive is definitely outshining the, the negative right now. So Scorpio is always someone that's speaking on you in a negative way out of pure jealousy, some sort of jealousy. Cause what else would it be? If you're living righteous, you're doing right by others and yourself. Um, so of course, but in this particular reading, it looked like it's good. It's more good than bad. So it's more people speaking highly of you than speaking of you in a negative way. Um, this could be friends. This could be family members. This could be, if this is pertaining to your business, I feel like um, it's more clientele, things like that. Is that like anything pertaining to your finances is, is just picking up. Um, it's a lot of truth and clarity here. So a lot of truth could be spoken from you to you. Um, something about the justice system as well. So yeah, it definitely seemed like things is working out for you for the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like whatever you was waiting on is about to arrive. Like very soon but it look show us one more on this okay yeah exactly five of pentacles in reverse this is what i'm getting so you're whatever this is that's coming whatever this these finances is it's about to arrive soon if not like today i feel like someone from your past is 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 thinking negatively about you because because of the finance what so maybe this person don't want you to have finances but they're coming in okay and it may not even be pretending to this person like you you're you're financially well off without whoever this is someone just okay here go the jealousy coming in that we was trying to avoid but apparently someone is jealous of you yeah, things that you're about to receive so many good messages, things coming in left and right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone could be speaking negatively on you, spreading lies as well. What are these lies about? Show us more with the Ace of Swords. And that's because because you're doing well. Page of Swords, yeah. Someone is spreading lies. Talking negatively on you, trying to. Mm -hmm. Because you're successful. Because you're living righteous. Like, that's what I'm getting. Like, the higher family. Someone is seeing you more higher than what they expected, and they don't like that. So, they're making up lies. It's just going to blow up in this person's face. Whoever this is that's wanting to bring you down, it's just going to backfire every time. It already have, and it's just still backfiring. <laughs> so they're just causing more problems to the to their own lives. 
that are causing more dis disruptions and delays and negativity to their own life because they're it's like um misery loves company that's what this is because you're doing fine you're getting justice you're receiving balance financial abundance stability good messages coming into you and here go this person that's trying to bring it down but you're still coming out on top as the higher fan in six of wands so their lies is not doing nothing but it's like i'm getting in this message Every lie they tell, the more good you get. Like, it is, you get more stronger, more powerful. Every lie they tell, every try, everything they try to do to um, deter you from where you're supposed to go in this journey, in your life, in this path of yours, it's like, okay, boom. We're going to cause delays for you. We're going to cause misfortune for you. Since you're trying to do this to this person, we got to level this person. We're going to level Scorpio up and we're going to cause delays for you. So whoever this person is, is they're just going to continue to get exactly what they're pouring out to you plus some. It definitely look like a tenfold. <laughs> look like this person is getting everything they sent to you or tried to. Um, wow. Show us a message for Scorpio. So Scorpio, they're telling you to have patience. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign. Or a water sign is spying on you. But you will be taking a trip or um, possibly, yeah, taking like... Um, you could be taking a trip or something, or someone could be coming to see you, or you're going to see someone. They're saying, have patience here. Someone need to change. Yeah, if you have any association with this person, you need to cut that association off. Whoever this negative person is that's trying to tap into your energy, okay? It's just, they want you to fall. They want you to fail. They want, they don't want you to have victory. They don't want you to have success, but you're getting it. Because God said, no, what's fair is fair. What's right is right. And this person is going to get right. So you're going to get right, Scorpio. And this person is just getting left behind. So they're left to spy and to lie. <laughs> spy and lie that's what they're doing and they just keep blowing up in that face because you still prospering you're still growing you're still receiving blessings you're still becoming more and more financially stable um yeah even if even through the struggle you still it's something it's always it's always a blessing out of it and this person is just they fail to see that. Yeah, this person is just, they're very miserable. And they want you to be in lack. Because they're in lack. But they're, what they fail to realize is that they're causing themselves to be in lack by coming against you. Show us a message for Scorpio. Scorpio. All right, so you're about to come into connection with your life partner. That's what I'm talking about. Your romance is stable and ready to go the distance. You could have friend zone someone, and this person don't like that, okay? A lack of passion in a companionship. See, this is why someone is not, like, they talking about you negatively to others or, you know, trying to uh, get others to see you in a different light. Clearly, but that's not working because others see the truth. They see the truth in you. They see that you are a good person. They see that you are reliable. They see that you are trustworthy. They see that others are uh, are liking you, are clinging to you because of this. I mean, why else? So this person is wanting to turn that down, down by speaking negatively about you. 
by making others look at you. Try to, they're trying their hardest to make others look at you differently. This person is definitely in lack and they're miserable. This person could be broke or losing finances. And they're wanting you to lose finances. If this person has to pay you or owe you or whatever, this person could be uh, withholding that from you to try to cause you lack, to try to cause you to lose out financially. But what they fail to realize, you're blessed and you're still receiving. There's nothing that they can do to take from you. Even, even if this person owe you finances, the money that they owe you is just extra. But they fail to realize that because there's so much... And their ego, their pride. But that's why they're losing so much. Whoever this is, man. And they're just going to keep losing. And they're just spying, spying on you. Now, for some of you, this person, if they um, if they don't owe you, they may owe you spiritually. Like, spirit, like, no, this person do owe you. You may look at it like, oh, no, they don't owe me no money or whatever. No, they owe you for, for all the, the pain and suffering that they have put you through. Even if you don't know exactly what they have done, certain things that was causing your life, delays and problems and yeah. So someone is getting that big payback, <laughs> the big payback. Let's get some charms. Someone could be dealing with a Taurus, a Cancer. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, uh, Gemini, or Libra. Those are the main signs here. But they could have these placements, don't necessarily have to be their sun sign. Or they could just be in the energy of this message. Scorpio. Scorpio, Taurus, when I said Taurus, some of you could be dealing with the Taurus or have Taurus placements. Gemini, said Gemini, some of you could be dealing with the Gemini or have Gemini placements or this person do. Aries, mention that. Someone could be an Aries, have Aries placements or this person do. Leo, um, or Capricorn. So, someone is definitely being very ambitious at this time. Someone is definitely a go-getter. Like, look, I'm going to get it how I got to get it. I'm not depending on you or, or whatever was, whatever set you back, it didn't stop you. Like, that's why you're receiving blessings and, I mean, here we go. Like, God said, no, I approve. What you want? Okay, approval. All right, someone is just very courageous and intelligent. They have a lot of sense here. So, speaking to you, Scorpio, congratulations. I said trustworthy, like someone is trustworthy. And this is how others see you. They could trust you um, because you you have owned, you, you owned up to that, you know. Others see this. It takes time to trust, right? So, however this trust was established, others are seeing like, man, that person is not how this person may um, however this person described this person to be, I see differently. Like, everything this person is saying that this person is, they're not showing that. So, it's like someone is starting to see this. They're seeing the truth, okay? The truth in you. So, the, whoever is gossiping about you, lying on you, and blah, 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 it's not working, okay? Um, you're very generous. Um, or this person that you're going to be coming into connection with is very generous. So say, for instance, this is the lover of this person. This person could have been trying to downplay you, make you look less than or whatever. But this person see different in you. Like, what? I don't see that in this person. Like, this person could catch on and realize that this person is just negative. They're jealous. Okay. Um, definitely pay attention to your money. I did see... Um, due to this reading like this person is trying to cause a lack on you but i do see more blessings and more my mo more money financial gains coming into you so i wouldn't worry too much but don't take advantage of it either and then 
you know, you end up in that downward spiral. We have the butterflies. So things is definitely progressing. Um, feel like elevating for you. Okay. Um, you have an angel. Okay, an angel. You're made for an angel. This is what this is. So an angel is definitely supporting you. You have the key to success here. All right, Scorpio, that's all I have for you. I hope you receive some clarity due to your message. Say bye-bye, haters. <laughs> but um, it looks good. Your finances definitely look good in this reading. And your love life um, is definitely changing for you in this reading. You're about to be with your life partner or you have already met this life partner. But just know that someone from the, from the past is a hater. All right. Let's move on to Pisces. Hey, Pisces. Please take whatever resonates. Leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone. Because this is a general. Not a personal reading. Know that energy is fluent. This could be past, present, or future, Pisces. <sighs> I'm getting tired, Pisces. Bear with me now. Bear with me. Pisces, please show us a message for Pisces. Pisces, Spirit, please show us a message for Pisces. 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 It's one card. All right. So it looks like you want to return somewhere, a place, or to someone. You want to return to someone at a distance. Um. Hmm. It could be possibly towards a Scorpio, the Judgment, Eight of Cups. Maybe a cycle has closed and you want to return. The tower. Okay. So there's an unexpected change here. Someone is ready to take action quickly. All right, Pisces. Ten of swords. Someone is feeling betrayed. Why? Show us more of the ten of swords. Ten of swords, spirit. Seven of Pentacles. Mm. Due to some type of long-term investment. Seven, seven, 77. Someone could be born in 77. Or seven, the number seven. You may have been seeing the synchronicities. Let's get more. But there's some type of warning. Or show us more with this seven of swords. Five of swords. Woo. What is all of this? Five of Swords, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. It could be a lot of uh, conflict going on here. The start in reverse. Someone need to heal. It's like someone want to argue and fight. Someone need balance restored in their life. Something is going on. This it, this could be mental conflict. Um. Whew. This could be a fight over money. The police could be involved or was involved. Five of Cups. There's some sadness and regret here. Four of Swords due to this break, due to this. It could have been an ending or some type of argument that went left. But there's a change here. This was destined to happen. It's to have someone see something in a better light. To see something more clearly here. So this change needed to come through. Like whatever this fight, this argument, this betrayal, this disagreement. It had to happen. Someone is definitely unstable. Show us more. It could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Six of Wands. Something is, is not successful here. A family member or a wife. Someone could be married, husband or wife here. Someone could be married and someone is unstable, unsuccessful. Someone is not happy. So 
So someone is wanting to change this. Yeah, someone is wanting to have that courage, that strength and courage to move forward. And have this new beginning, passion new beginning. Why is the seven of wands here? Seven, seven, seven. Someone should have been more, more cautious due to a decision. Someone is now wanting to just... It's like someone is wanting to be single. So if this is a relationship. It's like someone is wanting to return to someone. Someone is wanting to come out of some unhappy. Someone is unhappy. Ten of cups in reverse. It's not successful. It's no stability or... If someone is unstable, so this could be felt. Someone may feel like you're unstable, or you may feel like this person is unstable. Someone could be losing all finances big time due to some deceit, some lies, possibly over a pregnancy, a child, or due to sex. So, cheating, someone was cheating, someone could have been in a long time connection relationship, but someone wasn't happy, so that's not giving it a, okay for someone to go and cheat but that's what happened that's what it's showing someone is in regret because of the choice that they made it's like damn maybe i, I chose this too soon maybe i didn't give it more time to uh settle down with this person because now they're seeing them in a different light or you seeing this person however they seeing you in a different light king of cups your energy or you could be dealing with the water sign Pisces, cancer scorpio magician there's someone someone is manifesting um, possibly stability or marriage. Someone is heartbroken because of a third party is moving on. There's some spying going on here. Someone is heartbroken possibly because someone is wanting to move on to this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So it just looked like um, a messy ending. That's what this looked like. A messy ending to a connection, a relationship. Um, someone is not healing successfully. Someone is too wrapped around the betrayal, the hurt. Someone could be saying like they healed, they're over it, but they're not. Okay. It's like someone is wanting to return to, look at that water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Someone is wanting to return, look at that, retrograde, <laughs> Mercury retrograde. Mm -mm -mm. All right, so... Yeah, someone is needing to let go. Let go of this betrayal. Let go of what they have done, what they have said. If you're over it, really be over it. Don't just say you're over it. You need to do more work. You need to do more healing. If you're taking that personally, that's why. Because you need to do more healing. If you're like, yeah, you're right. I do need to continue to work on it. That's good. That means growth. You are working on it and you need to continue to work on it. All right, let go. It came out in reverse. Look at that. Look at God. Okay, someone is not releasing the past betrayal, hurt. It's like someone is definitely um, holding on to to that pain. Make room for the new beginning on its way to you now, but someone is not doing it. It's like you still have to let go of this situation. Whatever was done is done. Hold on to that pain, that anger, that... It's, it's not gonna it's not gonna yes they're saying yes you need to let go okay you need to let go i'm gonna give one more one more for pisces whatever this person did they did and it's done okay the distance you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant so yes yeah, some of you you and your person is not together at this time like i said some of you want to return to someone from your from a dis I mean from a dis yes some some of you want to return to someone this person is at a distance from you with this world and the eight of cups here in reverse judgment there's a renewal here there's um the tower had to come through between another connection or other people around you whether this is family friends or a, a particular connection that you're in whether a marriage or a commitment However, this is this tower had to come in to shake things up. And it may have been some betrayal. Something could have happened quickly. Uh, for some of you, the police was called. It was some type of altercation here. Now, for some of you, it was just a bit bad uh, argument, disagreement, fighting, arguing, whatnot. Um, but yeah, someone is needing to let go. Let go of this and move forward. Someone at a distance. Um, you and your partner may be, like I said, maybe physically apart at this time 
I do feel like it's, a, it's like a third party situation here. And they're saying no. So we have yes and no. Show us more with, with this energy. Date night. Okay. So if... One more. Because I'm getting a whole... Oh, someone could be pregnant. All right. So, hmm. I don't know. Someone is a narcissist here. We have vacation. So someone could be pregnant or... Yep, I, I, I was feeling third party. Someone else. Someone is in the middle of someone. Someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. So it could be a pregnancy. It could be... Okay, so I'm getting like... Because the queen of pentacles in reverse, that's a, that's a real ugly energy. Like this person could play games. They could be very manipulative too. It's kind of like the Queen of Wands in reverse, for real. Like, this person could be in the dark arts as well. Um, very dark energy surrounding that Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So, this could be whether this is someone that you're uh, in a relationship with. This is a, or a family member or um, a marriage, okay? Because the Queen of Pentacles is like a, a wife. But in reverse, it's like a toxic wife, okay? Something very toxic going on here. Um, someone could just be very, in very low vibrational energy. Um, so however this third party situation is, maybe the third party could be um, your husband or your wife. And it's time to let go of that to move on to a connection where you're supposed to be. Or it's time for you to let go of the third party so this connection could work out. So however this is, but someone is pregnant or will be pregnant. I feel like you're going to date someone or you're going, you're, you're, they're saying no to this narcissist, okay? So, I feel like the narcissist is definitely the queen of pentacles in reverse, that energy. Or it could be you, Pisces, however this is. But we have vacation. Someone's want to take trips, want to um, take a trip with, with a uh, lover. Wanting to um, start traveling with someone um but yeah expect the pregnancy i feel like if if this narcissist is not trying to get you pregnant um they could possibly even lie about pregnancy because we have no in pregnancy so that could be the case too okay so keep that in mind let's get a message for pisces but you could have found out like i said i feel like that came up in the in the tarot when i was reading the cards um, someone could have gotten pregnant and that is when you said, no, I don't want this no more or whatever, but some, like, I don't want to deal with you no more because you found out this person is pregnant or you end up going on a date with this person, gave it one more try or whatever, but this person still turned out to be the same, um, narcissistic ego, like this person still uh showed themselves as who what they claimed they weren't going to be and this is why they're saying no to the date because it could be another pregnancy involved here due to a vacation and then it's like you're trapped you're stuck in that same cycle where spirit was trying to get you to wake up and move out of all right we have magnetism there is a gravitational pull to each other. So it's you and someone, like I said, you and someone at a distance supposed to come together. So however this is, um, any other messages? Material attachment, too much focus on vis visible trappings. So you and, a, you and someone could have came into a connection. So say for instance, you are married. It could have been because of financial gain or the how it looked towards us about, you know, how the material life is and how they want to look and how they want others to look at, at them or at you, at your connection. Maybe because um, of a nice car, a nice home, like things like that. It's just material. It was all about finances. Someone could have been in a connection just for finances, whether you are this person. They said, let go of the past. Clear energy to allow more love in your life. Wow. So, yeah. Some of you, are, you're meant to come into connection with someone. You're going to be working together as well, or you're going to develop something where... 
Yeah, you're just gonna be on the same page. Um, but some someone needs to be let go of, and this is someone that you have you are dealing with for a long term. Mm -hmm. This is not everyone's message. Please take it however it resonates. But let's get some charms. Pisces. Pisces, let's see what's up. So, you, mm, you definitely have an angel, an angel assisting you in this change here. Okay. You have a crown. Someone is definitely being crowned here, king, queen. Um, it's time to level up here. And it's, it's not due to material gain. This is spiritually and that material will follow. You just got to do it in the right order. Okay. We have Gemini. Someone could be dealing with a Gemini. Or you may have Gemini placements. Um, but I feel like this is based on. This This message is more of your intelligence at this time. Using your intellect. Versus your emotions. Which will cause that chaotic uh, turmoil. And um, not so wanted events. To occur in your life so um yeah use use your your intelligence your your logic and not so much of emotions um i have no idea what this means i still haven't figured that one out but we're gonna i'm gonna have to look into that um someone could be into Into so maybe someone is a palm reader, or someone is very good, or someone could be very intuitive. Okay, I'm getting, but I'm also getting like uh, someone is, or you're going to get your palm read or something, get or get uh, get a reading done. But for some of you, I feel like some of you may want to get like um, henna done. Or been thinking about it or you have gotten it okay a, a cat could be significant for you someone may have nine lives <laughs> someone a uh, life path number could be nine I'm also hearing six and four so that was random but thank you um a dragonfly I feel like a lot of abundance is coming into you um, especially with this elephant here, but just make wise decisions because it looked like it, it could definitely, um, it's like a, a make or break type situation. So if you make the wrong choices, it's, you're going to lose. You make the right choices, you're going to win. But it's based on, um, it's based on, it's going to be in your face. It's not going to be uh, a right or wrong by taking a guess it's like i know this would be better so i'm gonna do this instead of this so just make sure you you're you're following basically following your intuition and also just being realistic due to your choices due to finance due to your business your work um for a lot of you this is definitely pertaining to like a connection it's someone in particular you need to let go of they should not be a part of your world anymore or a part of your romantic life because it's not bringing you what you want out of love. And they're saying, okay, that time has come. It's time to close that cycle out and return to someone that you want to have a connection with. All right, or who you supposed to have a connection with. You may end up having a child with this person, okay? And maybe a baby involved here. Um, yeah, with this renewal. And some of you, you could have Scorpio in your chart. Or this person could be a Scorpio. Take it however it resonates. Alright. But that's all I have, Pisces. It does look like a date night in the future. Um, Just be mindful and careful with this narcissist <laughs> that is in your energy. Hopefully it's not you. 
but this person may try to reappear and you know play on you play on your emotions to take you out or whatever this is someone that you are you have been in a connection with and this is how they keep you this is how they keep you coming back or whatever so it could be due to material gain so maybe this person have a lot of money or something or they have something maybe it's just good sex or the only sex you're getting at the time well they're saying look you have someone else okay you have someone else and it's even better the sex is better the love is better <laughs> so what are you doing pisces let it go this person is just returning you over and over and over again all right, but that's all I have for you, Water Signs. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And until next time, many blessings.